Hi, I'm the Wandering Newbie. It's time for more Record Keeper. Today, we have the, uh, I'm a little late, I'm a little behind schedule, Christmas and all that. FF12 event, Unswayed by Phantoms, and, you know, the follow up, Blood Rain. Uh, it's so another one, it's very similar to the previous 13 one that we had, uh, where a whole lot of submissions, and a very short event, mostly all. One stage boss fights. See, I guess that's where we kind of differ a bit there, the prisoner. I really actually enjoyed the aimless wandering at times. Once you knew where you were going, it wasn't aimless. You just had to map, you know, map it out for yourself. But to each his own. Like, everybody's going to have their own opinions about what makes a game good. Now, Daedalus, the, uh, the big, big trick. Oh yeah, Orthos. Let me show you the, uh, the glory of Orthos in a moment. Orthos was a very good summon for a very long time. Uh, but anyway, the main thing about Daedalus here that you want to do is you really want to remove that haste. Do not let Daedalus keep that haste. Or he can mess you up pretty quickly. Also, here's my hot take. Um, for a lot of the good that Zodiac Age does, I uh, I really hate the the remix soundtrack. There was absolutely no need to remix the soundtrack at all, and. Uh, I feel like they add too much to each song. I don't know if you can switch it in 10 Remastered. I, I don't actually own uh, Zodiac Age, but um, I've heard enough of it in this event. They just be like, I really hate what they've done with every one of the songs. Good, if you can switch it then, perfectly fine. Like, the the remake, the problem with the remix is less prevalent in some songs than others, but like, in the generic boss music, you can really hear where like, they just, there's like, extra notes. Like, more notes than there were before. And it's like, why, why did you add more notes? Like, right there with the trumpets. There's like twice as many notes as there were before. Uh, the extremely rude things that Pandemonium here can do is that he has a couple of really rude stats effects that he can hit you with. I think he has a front row blind that I may have not actually protected against, so that'll be fun if that comes out. Uh, the other really annoying thing that Pandemonium does is this! Perfect defense. Like, these drums were not there in the original. The snare drum. It was just that swelling music, and they added that s snare drum for some reason, and it just doesn't do anything for the song. So yeah, if the, uh, once Pandemonium goes immune, 
there's nothing you can do. You just have to eat a couple power spins and power spin to you. That is a move that does something. I think it might be slow. Uh, that's what the Astro is for, though. And it takes three turns, and then it is vulnerable again. And you can resume punching it. That was interesting. Had a bit of a audio problem there. <laughs> and that wasn't on me. This boss rush isn't particularly rude, it just has a couple nasty curveballs. Yeah, the thing I lucked out the most from the lucky draws Literally, actually of all things, was, uh, what's her face? Lulu's BSB. Because you know what Lulu's BSB is? That's right, baby. Ice boost in armor. Anyway, uh, here, Hashmal. Uh, Hashmal's uh, biggest, most threatening thing that he will do over the course of this fight is he has a ton of ways to deal uh, slow to your party. And that's extremely rude. So you definitely want to stack your team towards, uh, what's it called? Slow resist. Um, sorry, the music is killing me. Dying Squirtle. Anyway, um, yeah, he starts getting a little crazy in the latter parts when he starts doing like Quake Jump and everything like that. We'll see how bad that messes up my party, though. We may actually kill him before he does his forced Quake Jump turn. He's also supposed to go immune. We may also just skip that. Let's find out. Let's let's watch. There's Quake Joe. Right, it didn't really hurt too much. I don't even have Shell on. But we did proc slow on a couple people. See that's the that's the real danger of Quake Joe there. Luckily we finished him on that turn. Hashmal's whole thing is that he's not really too fast, that's why he self-hastes. So if you remove that haste, it becomes a way easier fight. Nice, that's actually just the person I wanted to have first turn because that.
That's a good Pogo. That was the first time I actually ever used that summon. Never really found uh, a need for it before this point. We'll just have Pyreon finish those boys off. Since, thanks to the buff, the Flashing Blade, uh, consecutive uses of Flashing Blade come out faster. Which is a super cool buff. Might just finish this boy before uh, he can call more people out. Nope, there it is. God damn it. Yeah, this has been my experience with uh, testing this fight. Is that, um. Just can't do it. Just can't. Kill this idiot before it all goes bad. Oh well, wins a win. Well, at least one thing, and I'll go on record on this. You know, I've yet to be... Let me just listen for a bit. I mean, they still kind of added some extra notes to it, but you can't really fuck up this song, can you? So that's the command one for uh, you boys, uh, you, you shout boys, VSB2 for Rasmus VSB2. Um, it's really good. Its whole gimmick is that you don't build meter when you use it. Like you can't build meter off the uh, the command one. But who fucking needs meter when you're doing 30k a turn? Like seriously. Like, oh no, he's hasting. I really don't care. Yeah, that's another good note, is that it's type support. 
So if you have Rasmo dives, which if you have his BSB2, you should probably dive him. Um, you're getting that nice 10% boost and all those passive boosts on that Command 1 because it's type support. Brandon and Tyro, though they are hitting with physical attacks, are far and away not the damage dealers here. If you are not bringing a bunch of slow resists, maybe not as close as I did, but you do want to time your haste for after that first slogo comes out. Uh, once you got that squared away, it is All up to you and how the rest of this fight goes down. I'm kind of slowing my roll a tiny bit here in the beginning. Just to get all of my uh, resistance and projections up. And there's Crown. Crown is the rudest move that Venusgar has, uh, as it is the only magic move it has, deals holy damage, and can confuse. And it uses it a lot. Which is why we brought Affliction Break. We want to cut that chance of it hitting in half. Just stop it from the get-go. If you have an Astra or something like that, uh, definitely a fight to bring it to as there are plenty of really annoying moves that this this boss can do. Yeah, like Larsa. Sorry, that sound keeps happening, and I don't know if that's emulator or my headphones or what at this point. Maybe it just doesn't like the uh, the remix music. But at this point, we are pretty revved up. Oh, fuck me, that's not good. There it is again! Fucking god, what is causing that? Um, I'm sorry, did that not target Tyro? Because I'm pretty sure I clicked Tyro. This is going to end very... This is going to end very poorly for me.
Holy shit! I mean, I prefaced it with crown is kind of the problem move. Oh my lord, I'm dying. That, uh, that weird hit is definitely happening at the same point each time in the song, right? That's not just me. Oh, I think I can do this. It's going to be really close, though. Like, stupidly close. Yeah, that weird audio thing is happening at the same point in the song, so I think it is something in the sound file. I will end you. Good. Yes, hate yourself. Dehumanize yourself and face the bloodshed. Get him, Krill! Fuck him up! Oh, that was dumb. God. Fuck, one more. We got one more in there.
That popping does happen again. It's going to be a little bit after this point. I guess it just loaded into RAM incorrectly or something. Because the song is looped at this point. Spoke too soon. Alright, that's what it is. It should be coming up soon then. See what happens during other fights. I really hope that it isn't an emulator problem, and it's just a problem with that song. Otherwise, I'll be very upset. I mean, the thing is, the fact that I've noticed it and nobody else has, so yeah, it's fine. who knows. I'm not going to try and focus on it anymore because that's not going to fix anything.
I mean, this isn't the first time that we've had some audio problems. Sorry, I know I said it when talking about it. Um, but there was that one uh, fight in the uh, Type Zero event that just had a messed up song file that didn't play. Like, we've seen this before. Dying over here. buffs have worn off at this point or maybe even buffs but luckily got my honorary good boy right here difference that in peril makes. I really don't think about that sometimes, but it makes a damn difference, doesn't it?
down. This boss, everything is executed correctly. Should be over fairly quickly. The scary thing is that this the, the boss does deal a lot of pretty potent damage. Um, since the first time we fought this boss, uh, Corellia has gotten her 99 materia, or her, her memory crystal 3, uh, which does actually allow us to equip the start with Sentinel record materia. Extremely useful for, well, exactly as it sounds, starting, starting to fight with Sentinel. That just means you can draw all the attacks in pretty handily. And just all in all not give a shit. So it was going down there with like the sonic fangs and everything. Oh, the Echo Record material is fantastic. It's what uh, Ash has on right now. It's a very nice 15% uh, magic increase with relatively no downside at all. Oh no, you're blinded. The only time it's a downside is when I forget it exists. mages are entering go fast mode. Uh, Ash is still revving up a little bit. There's a countdown. Waste to turn on the bosses we have, if you ask me. Now, there is a condition to hit the boss with a fire move. So, while we're using rains for the majority of our damage, we do have to remember to hit that fire move at one point or another. Darkra, of course, being one of, if it wasn't obvious just from the damage numbers, uh, one of the most threatening moves that the boss can do. It's just, it's very potent, and it hits across the entire party. there at the end. Lost one person. Uh, Dark Resist is alright. Fireball is actually a pretty scary move too. Alright, so a little late, but that was it for the, uh, the FF12 event. Uh, up next is 6, but that's not going to be for a week or two. Um, it, it's delayed a bit because of the festival stuff. Uh, so in between, we'll be getting stuff like the Protect the Esper event and the Rebirth dungeons. So look forward to that, and I'll see you next time.